Hey guys, it's Nick with Smith Ford Strength and Conditioning. Today, topic of discussion is habits. So, in life, we develop habits, whether we kind of are thinking about them cognitively or not. Um, habits could be something as simple as making your bed every day, uh, brushing your teeth, personal hygiene, uh, showing up to work on time, but developing habits for something new is not something that happens right away. It takes practice. So developing habits in our life might start with us starting with a goal. Goals tend to be like kind of the foundation before we can create habits. So if it's something for our, our health, um, say you wanna start going to the gym, say um, you wanna start eating better. We might make some changes in our life that are small at first. You, know, you might start off and say, you know, I want to incorporate drinking more water into my life. So with every meal, I'm going to add another, you know, a glass of water or, you know, I'm going to consume this many hydro flasks of, of water and um, developing habits of that can kind of snowball and, you know, doing something for a week is not quite a habit it's uh it might be a change but it's not a lifestyle change habits are more they're more lifestyle changes something that is sustainable that you're intending on making a change for months years to come hopefully so to develop a habit it's not easy it requires discipline it requires um a goal like i said before um, it might require some both, you know, I talked about before intrinsic motivation and maybe some extrinsic motivation from those surrounding you or um, you might have a, a reminder on your phone that, hey, I'm going to, you know, drink some water, you know, whatever, whatever your habit may be. So thinking about habits, it, it's interesting as I've, uh, I've gotten a little older seeing friendships and how habits have changed and i think habits parallel our priorities which is super cool um you'll notice that you know more people are starting to walk around with you know topic of water walk around with hydro flasks you know uh being more health conscious as far as consumption of water um the habits could be more of a hey i'm gonna make sure I do a good warm up before I go to the gym or you know there's a routine of you building a habit for yourself that kind of creates the the start to your day or it might be the habit of you know reading or having a nighttime routine that helps with your sleep um, but I've noticed I've put more emphasis of habits into my life more for structure um, cuz it's there's a lot of variables in life that come up um, not as many things are as controlled as they should be, especially with, you know, everything going on right now with the coronavirus. So, you know, building habits now, this is an opportunity for us. And this isn't me preaching. This is me just off the cuff, but it's an opportunity for us to really start building a habit for hand health, um, being more mindful of, you know, the things that we do, the things that we touch not out of fear, but out of respect for our bodies and for others, you know, um, this isn't really to save us from ourselves. It is selfishly, but it's also creating a habit now, whether we want to or not of how to protect the others and the people that we care about and, you know, anybody we interact with. So I wasn't intending on going that route, but I guess it kind of seamlessly transitioned. So building our habits moving forward um that's kind of a component of trying to achieve a goal and i've talked about different topics before goals motivation um but those things are kind of what drives into the habit forming and um just some quick thoughts for today something i was thinking about with everything going on um i hope you guys everybody's being safe um there's a lot of uh misinformation out there so we should respect what's going on, but um, be careful, be safe, uh, wash your hands, uh, respect one another. And um, I think everybody, we're, you know, this is uh, 
not gonna slow down anytime soon. I definitely think it's gonna get a little worse before it gets better. Um, but uh, I hope everybody's staying safe. If uh, you need to reach out to me, if I can be a resource to you about what's going on. Um, it's a lot of good information out there, um, but wasn't intending on it for <laughs> to go this route, but thank you guys for listening. Um, I love these little Saturday series, being able to chat with you guys. So if you have any comments, please let me know. Um, feel free to message me and uh, I hope you're all doing well. Love you guys.